we could be superstars. Or we were jacking cars. Hey, now it's not safe for you. You switch like a look. Nah, let me stop. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's not even a joking matter, honestly. But I woke up today and I seen this. Now this story, I don't know if this just happened uh, today, yesterday. I don't know. But I woke up and I seen this story trending, and I'm like, okay, I gotta talk about it. So I did a lot of research, y'all. I did like a lot of research. I was sitting here for about 20, 30 minutes doing a lot of research, trying to figure out why the hell did Antonio Brown just walk off the field you feel me it's a reason behind it it has to be a reason why it happened but it's so many different speculations on it that people talking about it was because of the money aspect because he was uh close to this amount uh of catches to get this amount or whatever you feel me like i'm not really familiar with the nfl because i don't really met i don't really watch the nfl but basketball <laughs> you catch me at basketball you feel me but nfl it's not my type of not my type of game but I did my research because I wanted to get more intake on what happened and why Antonio Brown. So it was just a lot of speculations. You feel me? Uh, talking about he has mental health issues. Uh, he, you know, I, I believe that he did something with a fake vaccination car. Uh, he just wanted the attention. You feel me? He's an attention seeker. He's the center of attention. He always wants the a center of attention. I heard that he wasn't getting enough playing time. That you know he, the ball wasn't being thrown to him enough, and he just felt like he don't want this team no more. So he walked out. But if that is the case, you know what I'm saying? If that is the case, then look, AB, you tripping. Because now no other team go want you. Even though if you might have been, even though you probably been done with this team, no other team go want you simply because of what you've done to this team. So now we'll never see you in the NFL again after what happened. You feel me? Look, I'm just going to watch this video of him, uh, of him walking off the field. And then we're going to give our takes on the from what I know, from what I heard. You feel me? And then y'all can let me know if I'm wrong or anything in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's go, let's go. This ain't normal. This ain't normal. This ain't normal, my guy. This can't be normal, bro. You telling me this man walked off the field. Uh, I believe this was during halftime. Walked off the field during halftime. And it, it's, it's an explanation behind this. You feel me? Like, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all let me know what what do y'all feel like Antonio Brown like should have done. Or what what is it that happened? Because from what I'm hearing, I heard that he had an injury. He didn't want to play. Coach told him to get in, get your black, you know, get your butt in right now. Get in. I don't care. I don't, like, I heard all of this. But at the same time, it's just like, I feel like, I really feel like it was the plan time. I feel like me, me, knowing, me now knowing Antonio Brown and from the research i done on this man before I even filmed, I feel like it was all because of the attention, because he wanted the ball more, and because of the money aspect. You feel me? I feel like it was all because of the money. He felt like he wasn't getting enough playing time. You feel me? I feel like the coach did care about his injury, so that's why he didn't get that much playing time during this game. Then I also heard that they was losing, but I guess they came back and won. I don't know. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy to me that how Antonio Brown mind is, like, functioning right now. Like, if even if it is a mental issue, he needs help. You feel me? He needs help. Because if this is a mental issue, then, hey, bro, you need to really get some serious help because this can lead to something else. You feel me? People that's mentally mentally not there, you know what I'm saying? They might be physically there, but if they mentally not there, it could end up somewhere else. It could end up them harming themselves or doing something to themselves. You feel me? So if that is true, 
the Antonio Brown, I'm going to pray for you. You really need the help that you need. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, after the game, he tweeted Super Gremlin, which is the song I was singing in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? We got up at Super Stars. Now, I don't even know what a Super Gremlin is, but he tweeted that, and he didn't really get no explanation on why he left the team. You know what I'm saying? Even after the uh, even after the game, you know what I'm saying? They asked the questions and said about Antonio Brown, you know, um, it seems like uh, Tom Brady was trying to be like more towards on his side type of stuff. But you feel me? It's just like, I'm just confused. I'm confused. They didn't really, nobody give no explanation. The coach didn't want to say anything. He said, hey, look, Antonio Brown is no longer a Buccaneer. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the, let's talk about the peop, uh, players who went out on the field and won. You feel me? That that's what the coach said. You feel me? And like it's just, I'm confused. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Is it mental health issues? Is it him not getting the playing time? Is it him just being frustrated? What is it? Because the way it looked like it, this man stormed out the court like it was LeBron James. You know, I, I'm a LeBron James fan, but I, I can't lie. LeBron be a crybaby sometimes, and it feel like that's what Antonio Brown was just doing. It just he wasn't flopping. You feel me? He literally just stormed out there like a big baby. I, I'm just confused. I'm confused on why though. Why? It's a reason behind it. Something had to go. Something had to escalate to the point where he had. He was just done. You feel me? Was he being mistreated by the team? Like what happened? What happened? Because it seemed like Mike Evans right there. Is that Mike Evans? I can't. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know who this is. You feel me? Look, I'm. I'm just going off the research I done. The research I done seen and everything I've done seen. Like I said, I'm not a Buccaneers fan. You feel me? I'm not a football fan at all, but I'm just going off everything I've seen because this is a story that's highlighted right now that's actually trending. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But if it is because of the money, it's just like, bro, you're in the NFL. You're rich already. You know what I'm saying? One meal, whatever it was, that's not nothing to you. That's chunk change. That's chunk change to you. To me, one meal could change my freaking life. You feel me? I could change my life. One meal to you is like a dollar. I mean, I'm just saying. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. Uh, is it any other way the situation could have been uh, resolved? You feel me? Y'all let me know. Because I know a lot. I got a lot of football fans. I know that. So y'all let me know. A lot of football supporters, shall I say. So y'all let me know what y'all think, uh, how the situation should have uh, escalated. What happened? What is wrong with Antonio Brown? I heard that he did a little fake, fake vaccination card. Like, is he is he a center of attention? Like, what happened to this man? What What is the true... What is his true mind at? You know, where is his mind at? You feel me? So y'all let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, The Pan. I love every last one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Oh, pray for Antonio Brown, bro. Pray for him. Real talk. Like, all just side. Pray for that, man. Without further ado, it's been your boy, The Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.